Go try to do anything in a business. I don't care where your business is in this country. Go try to add a uh, a sink in a restaurant and take a look at the socialist permit uh, guys who come around to your to your company. I I have a friend, we'll remain unnamed. His family lives in Panama. A large part of his family lives in Panama, and they lived under Noriega, the dictator, and now they live under the democracy, uh, Panama. And and he said to me that the relatives who live in Panama said to him. That under Noriega, the dictator, it was easier to run a business because the government came around at that time, the corrupt dictatorship government, it came around only once for a handout. You paid off only one corrupt bureaucrat, and then you were able to run your business. He said, now with democracy, it's a myriad of inspectors that never stop. They come to his restaurant on a regular basis. The sink diameter isn't large enough. Uh, the ramp up to the handicap thing is there, but it's not of the right angle. It's not at the correct 11 degrees. It should be 11 and a half degrees. Rip it out and put a new one in. And my brother-in-law's card is here. He'll build a ramp for you. This is what's going on in America as well. Red tape is what it's called. You blame Obama for that? No, but it'll get worse under Obama, not better. Because he believes in big government. He believes in red tape. He believes in bureaucracy. What do you think it is? But you see... Um, Mitt Romney's not articulating that. He's got to say he stands for red tape. He stands for a permit process that's out of control. I don't. I stand for streamlining business so you can thrive. You can expand your business under me. He doesn't make it clear. Why? Because he's surrounded by dummies.